Hey everybody, it has been a long time since I've uploaded anything to YouTube, over a year in fact. I've had a lot of cool projects and different things going on, I just haven't had the, the time or thought about filming them. So, figured I'd get back into it and shoot some videos of the different projects and things that I've got going on or that I've worked on over the, the past year or so. And in order to record those, I figured It'd be good to have a stabilization platform to, to shoot some cool quality video. So I was looking around online, figuring out if I would buy a, a gimbal for my iPhone or, or my GoPro when I saw my S550 hexacopter and the gimbal hanging from it. And I haven't really flown drones in a long time. I have a DJI Spark now that I fly quite a bit just because it's so easy, streams back to my iPhone. Uh, the hexacopter is amazing and was so much fun to build and it's still fun to fly, but just technology has kind of passed it by. So I saw that gimbal hanging from it and figured, well, what if I just repurposed that? And so what you're looking at here is a model from Thingiverse that I found that I printed and built and set up to use my Tiny2 gimbal in a handheld platform. So I've made some modifications because I can't leave well enough alone, but I'll show you how this thing works here. So this battery goes in the back, little 1500 milliamp hour LiPo. Again, repurposing stuff from my drones. I'll set it down and then just go ahead and plug it in. So it will initialize and now we're good. So now I'll cut to a quick demo showing it moving around, try to give a side-by-side -side comparison of how much it's moving versus what the GoPro actually sees. So you can see the gimbal's doing exactly what a gimbal should do, keeping it stable as I move it around. So pretty happy with that. Now a couple modifications that I made to it. Uh, the original design is awesome. I printed it pretty much exactly as is. Uh, I modified it though to also include a cell phone mount. So the camera I'm using is a GoPro Hero 5 Session. It does not have a video screen on it. So by mounting a phone here and connecting to the Wi-Fi from that camera, I can get a live video feed. So as I'm walking around with this, I can frame up shots and, and change video settings if I need to, take still pictures if I want, anything like that. So that's a modification that I've made. The other thing is that this gimbal is designed to use PWM input. So the original design had a small joystick, kind of like, this one here mounted on the back of it to control the pitch roll yaw etc of the gimbal. I actually wired up an Adafruit Trinket 3 volt which is a tiny little microcontroller that fits inside behind where this phone mount is uh, and actually will output PWM to the gimbal to allow me to control the uh, yaw and tilt on this. So I got these little knobs here on the sides and the yaw is really just for calibration to make sure that when the gimbal initializes I can get it centered. But if I turn this knob you should see the the gimbal will go back and forth. Now I've set the limits pretty narrow here just because I want to keep this in the center but I could adjust it to where it turns all the way left to right. And then if I move it this way, you'll see if I turn the knob on the other side, I can actually adjust the tilt from all the way down to all the way up, which could be useful if I was trying to hold it at normal height but film something on the ground or, or something along those lines. So two modifications that I've made to allow that to control it. And it's nice that this gimbal has the five volt and ground and then the inputs that actually come out and feed that microcontroller inside there. So it's a cool little project. Look for more videos here in the future using this to show 
some of the other items and hobbies and different randomness that I've gotten into. Uh, and if you're looking for this and my modifications, I've got a, a remix on Thingiverse that I've linked in the description. So thanks for watching. Glad to be back. Look for more content coming soon.